Let's head over to the Beko <laughs> kitchen and Mark, we've got a bit of steak today, Asian steak. That's right, we've got Asian steak, you know, the weather's warming up, this is a per perfect one for the barbecue. <laughs> Do it outside, I'm going to teach you how to uh, make the perfect steak, cook it through, Brilliant. roast it, get the flavour out of there, and then we've got a really simple Asian sauce with all the usual ingredients, really simple, really tasty, perfect for summer. No, you are so right, everyone needs to learn how to do the perfect steak, we're going to teach you right here this morning, sounds delicious. Great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen, and Mark, we've gone from yesterday's vegetarian curry straight to the other end of the spectrum, Asian steak. Yeah, Just to keep nice. you happy, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, look, I eat anything you make because it's always delicious. You could cook some cardboard and it would taste good. <laughs> tomorrow on the show, we're cooking cardboard. <laughs> Thank goodness right. we're not on tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, so you're going to teach us how to do a good steak. Right, so we're going to do a good steak. Yeah. So, uh, so what we can do is um, cut the sirloin like steaks mm -hmm. uh, and then it speeds up the process like really fast. Or you can do it in a big slab. You can get like okay. sort of slabs of um, sirloin steak in your butchers now, or even in the supermarket, and then you can cook it as one big piece and score the fat and roast it all together. Yeah, um, it just takes a little bit more cooking. Right. So you'll need to put it in the oven and uh, roast it for about 25, 30 minutes, depending on how you want it cooked inside, and then let it rest for a lot longer. Okay. But this will speed up the process. Okay. And here's a little tip for you as well. If you cut it into steaks, put all your steaks together, yeah. and then score the fat a little bit. So just get your knife, uh, okay. and then, you know, it's just it's just a little bit easier if you put them together to score your fat. What does the scoring actually do? Well, it's going to help the fat render down a bit okay. and go nice and uh, crispy. Nice. Okay, good. And then what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of salt on that fat. Right, and then we're going to make a bit of uh, a seasoning, so a, a pepper seasoning. So I've got some uh, Szechuan pepper. You're going to put me to work, aren't you? <laughs> I'm going to put you to work. Oh. Look, you've got your favourite... Um, Piece of equipment in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, back on the grinder. Um, so Szechuan pepper and a little bit of uh, black pepper as well. Okay. So just a little bit in there. Nice. Right, and then you can sort of grind that together. I love this combination. Oh, it's so good. It and and this is going to help it make it, um, you know, Asian. i put a little bit of salt in there as well. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to just leave all this pepper mix just for the, um, the side of the steak. For the side. Just okay. for the sides. So I'm going to spread it out now. Okay, nice. Just put those two bits. Right, and then I've got a little bit of um, Chinese five spice as well. So just, it's quite strong, but it's a really nice flavour. You know, it's got star anise in there and cinnamon, sort of, you know, sweet and uh, aromatic uh, spices. So just lightly go that on the side. And it's always good to rest your steak to put it at room temperature before you start. What do you, oh, definitely, what, what do definitely. you like doing? Yeah. yeah, no, you need to bring it, bring your steak out um, at least sort of 10, 15 minutes before you want to cook it. And you can see this one, and if you feel it, it's nice and soft all the way through. You know, okay, that's going to get you even cooking. But when it's cold, score the fat, you know, so that's the first thing you do, score the fat, so it's easy okay. to score. Nice. Right, I've got a griddle pan over here, which is yep. nice and hot. So a little bit of oil in there, and I'm going to start with that fat side, okay? Start with the fat side first. Start with the fat side, so put it all together, keep it on sort of a medium to high heat. If it gets too hot, you can turn it down a bit, but what we want to do now is just render a little bit of that fat out. It's going to go nice and um, golden roasted, give us lots of flavour and some of that fat's going to render out and then it's going to cook as we go. Okay, great. Sounds good. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, a little right. bit more. You it's a little bit chunky. Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice work. And, um, you know, when we're purchasing our steak or our sirloin slab yep. Yep. at the supermarket, you, what are the things to look for so it's good? Well, I mean, you want to. I mean, there's lots of different meat on the market. Um, what about you know, colour? Because sometimes I look at the colour and I'm like, mm, I don't know. How long has this been here for? So you want it nice and yeah, yeah, nice, vibrant. nice and red. But you know, it's not, it's not leaking lots of liquid as well. You know, right. it's nice, nice deep colour all the way through. Um, you know, go for, go for sort of like, um, you know, targeted sort of uh, brands, or not brands, but like. Um, Quality. Species of yep. uh, okay. you know, like Angus or, or Wagyu, and and you know go to a local butcher. Okay, I mean, sweet. You, you know you get some amazing meats at local butchers. Okay, uh, and you know grass fed, grain fed. You know you pay a little bit more, but there's a great story behind it, and the meat quality is absolutely amazing. Okay, is this good enough for you? <laughs> now a little better. That'll Keep do. Going. Oh Keep gosh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you can see now it's sort of you know the, the fat's rending out a bit. There's more fat in the pan there. It's getting nice uh, colour on there. You're gonna start smelling it. Well, this smells. This smells good. You've given up now. I've yeah. given up. Yeah. Now that's so fine. Pulling up a sweat. Right. So once you once you've got the colour now, you can just drop the steaks down. Just yep. pop them down. Let them uh, stay there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to season the side, which is not in the pan. Okay. okay. And then 
Once we get a nice colour on there, because these are so thin, I'm probably just going to cook it on one side, and then we're going to flip it over, I'm going to put more seasoning on the other side, and then we're going to take it out. So we'll have a look at that a little bit later on. Brilliant. Oh, I love a good steak, and we'll see how to do the sauce very soon. And we are making steak, <laughs> one of my favourites, Asian steak. So we're cooking the steak as we speak. Right, let's flip it over, have a look. Beautiful. So nice, oh, nice caramelisation on there. I Get like the same that. on the other side. A little bit more of the pepper mix. Okay. Right, we're going to make a little sauce quickly. Nice. So, some spring onion. Easy. Right, take that off. We're going to keep the green part for the end of the sauce. Okay. And just going to roughly chop the white part. That's going to go in the sauce. That goes in there. Got a little bit of uh, chicken stock. Okay. That chicken goes stock, in, if you chicken stock. Yep. Um, some soy sauce, nice. a little bit. Some that? oyster sauce. Okay. That goes in there. And then we're going to get some aromats in there. So we've got a little bit of ginger. Okay. And you're going to finely chop that ginger or chunky? Uh, I'm going to slice it. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. So that you don't have to get too fine on it. No, I, I'll do it into. Uh, yeah, you, you don't need to do it too fine. I mean, you could grate it in there if you wanted. It depends, you know. It's a nice little bit of texture as well to go with your steak. They go in there. You know, you're going to cook it a little bit to, to release the flavours, but it's going to soften slightly. So, you know, don't be scared of, um, you know, leaving it too big. Okay, good. I can smell that sort of Asian influence coming through already. Yeah, so you're going to bring that to the boil. The uh, you know, cook it for about 10 minutes just to get all those flavours through there. Okay. It will reduce down slightly. You don't want to reduce it too much because you've got the soy and the oyster sauce in there. Um, and then a little bit of garlic as well. Could you make the sauce before you do the steak or...? You yeah, know? no, you could make the sauce yeah. before you do your steak. I'm going to leave the garlic whole just to get the flavour. We don't need to do that. We've got some coriander just to finish last minute. And those green tops of the spring onion. Let's have a look at that steak. Yeah, you give that steak a good, good prog. prog. Okay, yeah. Hang on. And you tell me where it's at. Oh no, she's good. In fact, yeah, she needs to rest. Okay, right, bring her out. Okay, cool. When, you, when you're resting, do you take it out of the pan? Yeah, yeah, take it out of the oh, pan okay, because cool. you've got all that heat in the pan and you've got all that heat in the steak as well. So if you leave it somewhere too hot, it's just going to carry on cooking all the way through. Okay, cool. So keep it somewhere warm so it stays warm. You know, it doesn't get too cold. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, she's um, medium, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, that's how you like it. Yeah, no, this is exactly how I like it. Everything is smelling fantastic. We'll see the finished product towards the end of the show. And, of course, get the recipe at our website. And this looks amazing, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful, look I, at that. I can't wait to eat it. What are you going to do on Monday? Right, on Monday, I'm joined by another chef, Mal Myers, and we're doing wasabi-cured gin sandwich.